Okay, start. Let's all start. And uh, thank you for uh, being with us tonight, uh, mga kapatid. It's a great opportunity again that the Lord has uh, provided us this uh, time together to, again, worship, fellowship, and more importantly, to remember uh, the uh, Lord's Supper, uh, to celebrate it and uh, remember His uh, death and His resurrection. Mm. Uh, before we proceed uh, to the liturgy of uh, the Lord's Supper this uh, afternoon, <clears throat> let me allow me to provide you with a little reflection. Uh, <clears throat> a, today I is the first Sunday of uh, the month, and in church I started a new sermon series and. The sermon series for the month of February is the rediscovery of spiritual discipline. When we say spiritual discipline, these are our actions, our acts that helps us uh, develop our senses, our spiritual senses. Meaning to say, we become, because of the spiritual discipline, we become more conscious of what God is doing and we can uh, understand better uh on a spiritual point of view, the things that are happening around us. And mm -hmm. for this month, I I outlined several spiritual disciplines, not all, but some important spiritual, spiritual discipline. Like this morning, I preach about prevailing prayer. Next week, I will be talking about fasting. And then I'll be talking about meditation and listening to the Lord. Then I'll talk about giving and all those sorts. So this morning I talk about prevailing prayer. This is not a an ordinary prayer. Uh, other preacher call this travail or laboring in prayer, a type of prayer that is not similar to our simple prayer like "Lord, thank you for the food." That's simple, like "Be with us, Father God," or not a prayer in the morning when you thank the Lord for the rest. This uh, prevailing prayer is the prayer that. Uh, the intention is to move the heart of God. It mm. is a, a prayer that is intended really to change the mind of God for some who believes in that. Mm. A, a, a prayer that really you, you labor hard and you ask the grace of God so that you can do it. Mm. So I made an example uh, this morning. Uh, the text was from, of course, from Genesis chapter 32 when Jacob wrestled with God. And then I also uh, read uh, Luke chapter 18 about the woman who uh, persistent widow. Uh, so who sought uh, justice from the uh, the widow who sought uh, uh, justice from uh, from the judge. And there are three things that I believe people should consider in in engaging into what we call prevailing prayer or attempting to change the mind of God. And getting from the text, I said, there is a need for what we call the climate of prevailing prayer. And the climate of prevailing prayer is our desperation. That mm -hmm. there is no other option but God alone. Mm -hmm. We should come to that point of desperation. And God allows troubles in life so that people who loves God and who knows God will be able to come into that climate of full, total, and unwavering dependence on God. That's the climate. Because if you will look at uh, the life and the experience of Jacob, he was so desperate because the following day, he will be meeting his brother and it could be the end of his life and all his children and all his family and all his servants. And it could be end of all. Mm -hmm. So that evening when he wrestled with God, which I consider prevailing, it was the time of his desperation. The woman, on the other hand, was so desperate because she had tried, she had tried everything and she really needed that justice. And therefore, there is no other option but to ask. Mm -hmm. I call that a climate for prevailing prayer. And we just realized that sometimes we, we don't like what God is doing. There are, God has allowing, is allowing troubles in life to overshadow our own our lives and those are opportunities for the, the, the climate of uh, dependency the climate of the of, of total submission happen it is our time of being uh, being uh, uh, 
being with God and no other option is available. The second also, aside from the climate of uh, prevailing prayer, is what we call the character. The character uh, is boldness. Uh, boldness in character. Look at look at what Jacob said. I will not let you go unless you bless me. Unless you bless me. This is something probably in a in a normal way. This is so disrespectful, dishonoring. Who are you to wrestle with God and tell God, I will not let you go unless you bless me? We are just human. We cannot do that. But the truth is, we can, because the character of uh, being being bold comes from the intimate and genuine relationship. Let me give you an example. Uh, if somebody will ask you $20 that you don't know, you'll be insulted. Who are you to ask me $20? I don't know you. Or you're just a new acquaintance. How, how can you ask money from me? It feels disrespectful. But if it is your child, your son, your daughter, or your grandchild will ask you, Lola, Papa, can I have $20? Oh, you will sure. even give 100 Why? <laughs> because you know the person. You know your apo. You know your grandchild. You know your son. You know your daughter. There is a relationship existing between you. The reason why they are bold enough to ask you. So our relationship with God, we can boldly ask. Our character should be bold. Not because we are disrespectful, because we are dishonoring God, but simply because we have a genuine and intimate relationship with God. And mm -hmm. don't worry, God will not get God will not get mad at us. Why? Because He knows us and we know Him. He is our Father, by the way. So prevailing prayer happens only if we have that character, if we have that boldness, and that boldness happens when we are intimately related to God, that God is our Father. And finally, there should be a, a, a consequence of prevailing prayer. Part of my illustration this morning was when one time Bible study came, asked me, is it, is it bad or is it good? Or is it right to ask the Lord to pray that I may be rich or that we will be rich? I did not answer right away and the next, the, uh, the, the answer to the question, the question is, is also a question. I said, are you willing to pay the price or the discomfort of being rich? So long as you are willing to pay the price or the discomfort of the things that you're asking for, and therefore you are allowed to ask. Look at the text. After the wrestling, Jacob walked limping because of the dislocated hip. But it's okay. That's part of the discomfort because that's part of the blessed life that he asked from God. Sometimes people are not asking because they are not willing to pay the price of what they are asking for. The reason why we are telling, be careful what you ask. Because when God answers, sometimes there are discomforts associated with it. And that's okay. Because that is part of the prevailing prayer. That's part of the discipline. That's part of what we do as people of God. So this afternoon, as we celebrate the Lord's Supper, I encourage you to just think about and rediscover the spiritual discipline, which is the very prevailing prayer that the Lord has allowed us to engage and to experience. Finally, in 1984, of those of you who are Young, you might not remember this. There is a popular movie called Karate Kid, right? Oh, yeah. people sometimes. Not the Cobra Kai. That's that's lame. That's not the one. Yeah. The, the old Karate Kid, where Ralph Macchio and Pat Morita was the stars. Right? So there was one time when Pat Morita, Mr. Miyagi, uh, Allah, uh, is teaching uh, Daniel Karate. But Daniel was so mad because the first lesson was how to wax the car. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi said, wax in, in wax and wax out. out. <laughs> and Daniel was so mad because what is the relationship of this waxing the car in, in his karate? Oh, he just realized. When the karate lesson really started, his body was accustomed to blocking and attacking because he already knew 
he was he was the be- it, this uh these actions were developed during the time that he was waxing the car my friends my brothers and sisters in the lord spiritual discipline is like waxing in and waxing out it is not the the very spiritual life in itself as a whole but it's a part of what we do so that we develop that senses so that we can be conscious and 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 be aware of what god is doing in our life so as we celebrate i hope our consciousness of what god is doing in each of our life are more pronounced that we'll be aware of indeed what is what god is doing to each one of us and if god is leading you at this season of your faith to engage in a prevailing prayer boy it's different you will experience and you will discover the great power that god has for each one of us imagine if you have the, the opportunity to change the mind of god it's possible if we know the discipline amen, amen. as we celebrate uh, and remember what god has done let us be aware that god is with us we are all in god's table i welcome everyone in this time of remembrance let us now come to the lord blessed be the god our father the son and holy spirit blessed be god's kingdom now and forever Amen. i will glory in the lord let the humble hear and rejoice let us proclaim the greatness of the lord let us exalt his name forever i sought the lord and he answered me and delivered me out of my terror look upon him and be radiant let not your face be ashamed the angel of the lord encompasses those who fear him and he will deliver him people of god people of faith taste and see that the lord is good joyful and happy are those who trust him come let us worship and the lord be with you and also be with you Absolutely. lift up your hearts to god now we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to our to the lord our god because it's right and proper to give thanks and praise it is right and good and joyful thing to always and everywhere give thanks to god almighty god the creator of heaven and the earth the god our god who has mercy on us Father in heaven, we are coming before you as your people. In the simplicity of the moment, in the yet, in the solemnity of the occasion. Yes. Where we believe you are with us, mm. we are coming to you in one yes. faith, mm. in one confession. We are your people. You are our God. And therefore, Allow your spirit to be with us, to accompany us in this celebration, and let our hearts be warmed, let our soul be refreshed, mm. and let our body be healed. <clears throat> in Jesus' name, amen. For I receive from the Lord what I also delivered unto you. Let the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed, he took the bread. And after he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after that supper, he took the cup and he said these words. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Drink, receive and drink from this cup. Because as often as you drink it, you do it in remembrance of me. As you are now prepared and your spirit and hearts are in tune with God, let us now take the bread. 
Let us give thanks unto God and let us take it in remembrance of what the God, what Jesus has done for you and me. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, the body of the Lord Jesus Christ offered and broken for you and for me. Take it and do it in remembrance of what Jesus has done for you. This is the cup of the new covenant. The blood of Jesus poured out for the remission of sins and to the life of holiness. Take this cup. Drink from it. Celebrate. Because as you do it, you do it in remembrance of what Christ has done for you. The blood of the Lord the cup of his covenant, receive and take and do it in remembrance of what Christ has done for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Holy, 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 our Lord, our God Almighty, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna. In the highest. Mm -hmm. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the in Lord. The name of God. In one confession. And in one communion as people of faith. Let us all recite the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Our Father, Father which are in heaven. Are in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. They will be done, will be done on, earth on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us Give day, our, day, our day. daily bread. And forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. And now may the grace of God, His loving presence through the power of His Spirit, Gives us victorious life, a new life in Him. Let us all give thanks to God for the celebration. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him oh, where you below. Praise Him who heavenly host. Now and forever. Give peace to one another and let the peace of God rest to each one of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peace be with you all. Peace the Lord bless you. Peace be with you. Magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat.